So we're, we're making the balls. There's the balls. And there's the things that cut the balls from. So what goes into the mixture of the, the balls? Well, in the old days, they used straw. And if they could find some manure, they put the manure in the straw, which helped the straw and the clay bind together. Very sticky substance. And that worked for a lot of people in Europe. And then they started using grog and clay. And that worked pretty good. But it's hard to make balls out of grog. So you put these little three balls under each uh, piece before you fire them so the glaze will go underneath, which is a gas. And because you're throwing salt in the kiln, it's sodium gas and it's the sodium attacks the clay body and makes glass while the chloride goes up the chimney, which we're not supposed to breathe. We don't. But now, in the modern era, all the potters use silica and alumina. And silica is a real fine glass and if you combine it with alumina which is a high fire element they won't melt and they won't stick to the pots and voila we have invented balls for our pots the best balls in the nation we got them very good <laughs>